YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Mine has been very relaxing. Have just spent all day playing game battles matches on Black Ops 3, 2v2s with bows. Those have been uploaded to my second channel. You guys can check those out in the description below if you would like. But I, I, I had to take a second earlier and just make a tweet. I think I have it pulled up here in front of me on my screen. I said, can we please just take a second to appreciate how good Black Ops 3 actually is? Props to Treyarch, thank you for this game. Now, uh, some of you guys might disagree, but I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree that Black Ops 3 has probably been the best Call of Duty that we've had in the last couple of years. And it's, but for the first time in a long time, I find myself just playing public matches in my spare time, trying to rank up. And I really just wanted to sit down for a moment and just kind of take it all in and appreciate the fact that it's January and I'm still enjoying the Call of Duty after two months. So it's been really, really good. But what I wanted to share with you guys today is a mindset that I've had over the last couple of years while doing YouTube. I've always been like obsessed, literally obsessed with upgrading and updating anything about my setup, anything about what I do to make YouTube videos to make them better. Whether it's the video quality, the stream quality, or just the quality of the content that I'm uploading in general, I've just, I've always had this, this obsession to make it bigger and better. So I wanted to share with you guys my setup really quickly because we're making a lot of changes today and I figured that you guys would like to see it just in case you one day want to make videos and you need some suggestions on what to use or just an inside look about what happens at my apartment here in Los Angeles, California. I know some of you guys might not be interested in this kind of thing, but I've, I've noticed that some things that I never thought would be interesting, I find myself watching the exact same thing like on different YouTube channels. And it's just like people when they share their life with me, it just there's something very intriguing about it. So really quickly, I want to go through everything before we make the changes. These are essential, okay? These are essential for gaming. If you've never had them before, these are pretzel crackers. These are GOAT. They are the greatest of all time. You know, it takes the best things about a cracker and a pretzel and combines them. I, I, I snack on these in between matches and games and while I'm watching uh, Netflix on this third monitor. And then you got pistachios. These are uh, amazing. They don't have the shells, so I get them in my mouth very easily. And then when we start losing 2v2 GBs, I just have this <laughs> sitting next to me. This is the Tylenol to get rid of those headaches. Uh, but I, you know what? I actually had to get a printer too to sort of make this more of an office setup. Like I have an accountant and a tax lawyer and I've had to sign a lot of forms since we've got a new tax year coming up and I've had to send them back over. So I actually had to be a professional and get a, a new printer. Um, and then today I have my computer all the way back here. Please do not mind the wires, guys. Please. I, I know it looks disgusting, but I can't can't see that throughout the day. I would love to do some wire management, but I, I just haven't had the chance. So my computer's sitting back there, and I've been using the same capture card, guys, for about three years. And Elgato sent me this. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I am not partnering with Elgato. They are not paying me to say this uh, by any means. Uh, but I want to try this capture card out. This is the uh, HD60 Pro. And it, it uploads in, well, you can record and stream at 1080p and 60 frames per second. And right now, the capture card on my computer uh, only does 720 at 60 frames, and it, it doesn't support 1080 at 60 frames. So uh, if you guys ever look at the quality options on YouTube videos, and you guys will notice, hopefully this will make a big difference. So we're going to install this really, really soon. You guys can watch that. Um, and then I actually got these for a Christmas present. Uh, these are hue lights. Uh, so basically what my plan is, I have them right here, took them out of the box already. Uh, I'm going to wrap them all the way around the back side of my desk, all the way around so that when I have them on, and th the cool thing about it is, is you can actually change the color from your phone. You want green in your room that day, change it to green from your, not green, green from your iPhone or blue a purple, white, whatever you want. So that's going to look really cool just dimming through and, and hopefully when I'm streaming or making videos, there'll be a really cool residual through my webcam. So uh, as we pan over, we've got a bunch of water bottles, my wallet. Uh, this is a camera. I'm actually going to be recording a Q&A in a little bit. Uh, so I've had that out and I've got like the charger plugged into the wall over there. Um, then yeah, I just got my keyboard, my Twitter account, and, and then everything else over here. This is where I play Black Ops 3 in this monitor to the right. So I've got all three of them. Um, I've been using this a lot, actually, my, the Nate Shot Scuff controller. So initially, when Black Ops 3 first came out, I wasn't using a scuff for the PlayStation 4 because I couldn't seem to get used to the paddle on the back. But I, 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 you know, I'm perfectly used to it now, and I've been just destroying kids. It's, it's been incredible. If you guys want to check out the Nate Shot Scuff, shameless plug, you guys can check it out on the Scuff website. And then you have uh, my webcam. I, I actually don't use a webcam. This is a camcorder that does 1080, 60, 60 FPS. And so this is like a bunch of like quality stuff. 
stuff that if you're not interested in it and like the quality of the videos, then this this is really cool stuff to me. Like I have this, this is my microphone amp, and then I have the microphone here. That's how I've gotten myself to sound so much better in these videos. And I have artificial lighting that bounces off the wall and then comes back at me. So it's not like incredibly dark in here because uh, I'm in an apartment complex so the lighting's not that good with the natural sunlight. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but I wanna get the Elgato installed and I wanna get the Hue lights installed on the back of my uh, the back of my desk. So we're gonna do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the rundown of everything that I'm using and uh, we're gonna get started. Wrong fucking side. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, guys, um, that was pretty painless. I'm gonna give you guys a look of what's actually inside my computer. I don't have the exact details of the build because uh, I didn't do it myself. I just kind of purchased the items and had it built for me. I took a computer maintenance class in high school, so I know the basics of a computer. I understand the hard drive, the motherboard, the graphics cards, the power supply, uh, the drives that you have down here and how they all work together like I mean I understand like there's a processor and a cooling system all that so I have uh, two 980s and I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna comment about how I don't need that much power especially since I do a lot of um, computer gaming but I figured if I was gonna spend the money uh, it's a really good tax write-off for me uh, and I have like the best computer and I won't need to upgrade for a very very long time um, So the Elgato capture card just went into my PCI Express port down here. I've got it screwed in uh, So I'm just gonna put the top back on um, get it plugged back in and uh, Maybe I'll actually work on the hue lights on the back end while I have this big computer up here. I, I've, I've got it sitting on cardboard. I know it's kind of a janky setup down there uh, but the reason I have that is so that the computer isn't just sitting on the floor in the heat it just banking off of the carpet and it's overheating i don't want that to happen so it gives it a little bit more of a buffer zone for the air and the heat to come out and for it to stay a little cooler so like i said it's all set up thanks elgato really appreciate the new 1080 60 fps capture card and i'm going to try to show you guys the difference here soon So whenever I go inside my computer and I take anything out or put anything back in or unplug anything and have to plug it back in, I get really nervous that it's not gonna work the same way that it did. But luckily it looks like everything has booted up properly. I'm just installing the Elgato software off the website, uh, really handy tool. And so this should be good to go very soon. I also, as you guys saw, got all of the, uh, the Hue lights taped on the back of the desk but I still need to install software on my phone and get that plugged in somehow into my router. So we still have a ways to go until everything is complete and all the upgrades are made, so. Boys, it works. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, we did it. I'm surgical with this computer shit, man, I swear. Look at this, I can see myself. Hey, videoception, look how ugly that kid is. Hey, guys, I'm so happy. When you guys watch videos in 1080p compared to 720p, uh, this is gonna make a big difference. You know, more so probably especially on my second channel uh, because I upload like two Call of Duty competitive search and destroy matches every single day and I'm uploading at 1080, 60 FPS but for like the last couple months that it hasn't been true 1080, I've just been rendering at 1080. So you guys are now gonna get, like I said, and I keep feeling like I'm repeating myself like a million times, you're gonna get 1080p, 60 FPS. Thank you again, Elgato. No, I didn't get paid to do this shit, man, but I'd like to. Elgato, man, hook me up, yo. So everything seems to be coming together. So I have the app with the color changes 
and then you come back here and you could see the lights as they change. I know it's a mess guys, it's gonna get cleaned up eventually, but if we wanna go blue, we go blue, maybe some phase pink? No, we don't, we don't want phase pink, we'll go uh, phase, a little bit of phase red here if I can get it to work. Let me, let me drag this over here. There we go, there's a phase red, but I think for right now, we'll stick with some optic green, cause you know we gotta rep, all right? All right, guys, well, I think that's going to do it here for me today. I got my Elgato set up. I got the Hue lights set up. You guys can see it kind of glowing in the background. That's what I see. Uh, I set it back to the default light right now just because the green's kind of hard to see with my monitors here. Uh, we got the Elgato software working properly. I'm going to go game, six prestige, level 43, it seems. I got to go get that rank up and go play some game battles matches. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys have an incredible day. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for some more videos. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. YouTube. We'll see you fucking later. Goodbye.